Hey, 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 Savvy Sarah LaRock coming at you from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Florida Properties Group. I am here today so excited to show you this new listing that I just think is adorable. It's actually been a vacation home for the last few years for the family who owns it. Um, so it's, it's one of those gently used homes. It's just perfect. It's peaceful, serene. I am, it's in Largo, um, I, I did invest in aerial footage so you can see the pictures to actually realize how close you are to all the golf beaches, all the barrier islands, you are literally a hop, skip and a jump away from the beautiful Bel Air Causeway and from there you make a right Indian Rock, or not to Indian Rocks, right heads to Sand Key, Clearwater Beach, left, yeah, well, straight ahead and you're right you land on Bel Air Bluffs Bel Air Beach and then Indian Rocks Beach Madeira Beach so on and so forth all the way down to St. Pete so the location is awesome um, you've got some of the best restaurants right up here on the corner of Clearwater Largo Road and West Bay and all over lifestyle amenities everything you could possibly need and this is um, the street is actually kind of a U-shaped. I'm going to do uh, the exterior. Whoops, as soon as I get my thumb out of the way. I um, always want to show people the exterior, what it looks like. I'm standing kind of out here in the middle of the road. This is Crescent, Crescent Drive. We are at 2501 Crescent Drive. Some cool things I've noticed is that, let me stand up here a little bit more out of the sun. This property right over here has been completely demolished and that's new construction. They are, that whole lot is empty now and they're building new construction from the ground up. And then also this home across the street on this corner has been purchased and demoed and they're, they're renovating that one as well as right around the corner. Basically this is, uh, you come to this, this is Crescent and it just curls around. Um, this is a dead end. It just goes to this house and the two others. That house is obviously with the huge dumpster out front also getting completely renovated. So you've really got pride of ownership, just property values on this little slice of Largo is really, um, I think, sustained and just by the looks of things. It's a small street. There's no homeowners association and it's very peaceful. What is it? It's 430 on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Happy New Year. Um, and you can hear what you can hear. Oh, what a beautiful day. Look at that. I love the shade tree in the front yard. It is absolutely amazing. It's beauty, beauty, beauty. Lots of tranquility. I love this is right out of country living. I think this front porch is just adorable. Rocking chairs. Here we go. This is a 1,278 square foot home. Again, 1,278 square feet. It is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. So I step in, I come right into the living room. Super cute living room. I love this little, this is original, you know, these little niches. I love that. It's really character. Right. Beautiful hand scraped wood floors that were put in within the last two years. All the windows were updated to impact resistant glass in 2012. The roof was replaced in 2014. The air conditioner was replaced this year. The home has a very, very, very light popcorn finish. It's more like a heavy orange peel. So I really, I'm, I'm not screaming about the popcorn ceilings here. This is the, I would call this the, this is the larger bedroom. So this is the one I would call the master. Second bedroom, bedroom number two is right around the corner. This is in the back corner of the home. Nice view of the backyard. They're yeah, really nice windows. You can tell by the thump. How, how deep is the thump? Beautiful. I want to point out the blinds. They're the, the translucent. So they let in the light, but they block the view. Not that the view is bad. Uh, I just wanted to shut those. I thought it looked better. All right. So this little hallway 
is where you have your coat closet here and then also your linen closet there and then here's your bathroom here's your main bathroom this is your only full bathroom so good thing it's nice right <laughs> This is a beautiful bathroom. Love the travertine tile, the built-in shelves, the new window, the Listella decoration that travels around. It's just really well done. Beautiful, beautiful. Hi. You have a medicine cabinet over here. Nice vanity. Got some storage. Here you can really see those floors. So here, um, newer carpet in the two bedrooms and... Uh, a diagonally laid travertine in the uh, bathroom and then hand scraped wood throughout the entire living space all right now we're going to come into the actually let me walk you around the other way we're going to go through the living room just so i can kind of show you the layout a little better this is your dining space all right you see right under the chandelier and you've got that beautiful um, kind of waist high skirting that goes around just beautiful. All right, and here's your kitchen. Nice open concept. You've got a peninsula that comes out. You do have storage on this side. Really good use of space. You know, you can tell when they're custom. You've got just the, the quirky little, you know, extra uh, cuts. More cuts. You know, they're not all boxy. Really nice updated refrigerator. And then you have a built-in oven. Got your built-in oven, you've got your microwave and your stovetop. And then you've got your beautiful, I mean, out of all the, the um, kitchen sink window views I've seen, this is honestly one of the best. It's just beautiful out there. Really nice area. All right, and the one other thing I wanted to show is the um, closet pantry. Okay. And heading back, we have the bonus room. I love the bonus room. Super spacious, light and bright at the back side of the home. Really, I mean, it's a big room. You could, you know, kids zone, a formal dining room, family room, home office, whatever you want to make it. You can make it whatever you want. It's your choice. This is the room that has the, the walk-in closet that does still need to be built out. But you can do a lot with storage. And then this is your third bedroom. This is brand new carpet, brand new baseboards. Just changed out the flooring here. Oops. Okay, every room has a ceiling fan. Again, beautiful custom niche that was put in um, back in the day. This room does have a step down, all right? All right, now we're going to take a quick walk out to the garage where I am going to show you, number one, the garage, obviously, um, just to show you how big it is. This is extra space all over here. So it's a one car garage. Let me get it off of the extra wide. Let me give you a good perspective here. All right, one car garage, and you can see all of this over here is extra space. And I back up, you can see you've got utility sink we're going to go in there in a second um, that's a mirror they've got some items of storage here i'm i'm going to zoom out it just allows me to show you more all right so you've got your dryer over there your water heater up high more storage back in this niche i mean there's so much room and space back there and you've got the shelf that's really cool these are items their family's coming to pick up so here's your half bath um, I would say out of all the half bathrooms I've seen in our area, which we are notoriously known for having in a lot of half baths in the garage, it was just something that was done when these homes were built. I think this is a really nice one, personally. I, I think it, it really carries um, some clout for me anyway. You know, and I, it's not, you do have a sink here. I know that's the one weird thing about our half baths is they don't come with sinks. The half baths in the garage, shall I say. All right, brand new garage door I wanted to point out. Um, the garage door was also just replaced prior to listing. So now we're gonna come outside. This is the side of the home. We have a, a door here. This is where your garbage cans are kept. 
um, beautiful foliage throughout the back of this home. I just love this home. This is, it's so nature. Nature is just all surround you. It's so beautiful. Big, beautiful backyard. Let me walk back in the corner. Oop, gotta watch where I'm going here. You've got a bird feeder. You've got a bird bath. All right, so I'm in the back corner. Just to show you, I've got so much space. You, you're right on McKay Creek. It's a meandering creek that runs behind the community and specifically behind your street. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not going to step on anything. All right, so it's just peaceful back here. You can see you're right on the creek. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit for you. Look at that water and how clear that is. You can see straight to the bottom. This comes from Taylor Park, the creek, uh, or creek, <laughs> the lake, Taylor, Taylor Lake, which Taylor Park surrounds. That's where this comes from. And it goes to the Gulf of Mexico, which is that way. So this is, you know, not so much a usable space of the lot. It's a little, I mean, it could be, but right now it's just kind of the secret place behind the fence where the creek is. So really cool. But the property line does go back there. It's a very large um, property, which is unique for Pinellas County. Over here, we've got some very nice landscaping, all Florida friendly. It's, it's you know, remember, this has been a second home, so um, everything's been s just very gently taken care of, and it, it's done really well. Um, I mean, of course, they had somebody caring for the lawn while they're not here, but this is Florida friendly uh, landscaping, which is why it looks so beautiful. Um, the house has been cleaned up, everything's been freshened up, um, pressure washed, everything ready for listing. It's a beautiful home. Oh, you do have a little shed on this side of the home. And then this little space here, which a uh, little paved open patio. You've got a fire pit over there. I mean, it, this is just so peaceful. really don't hear much. I hear, you know, a gentle hum of the rush hour traffic. It is New Year's Eve, but it's just, it's just so gentle, you know. I don't really hear much of anything. So it's just beautiful. So this property is about to hit the market. Three bedrooms, one full bathroom, one half bathroom in the garage, one car garage, um, what else? A brand new air conditioner, Roof put in in re full replacement in 2014. Comes with a washer and dryer that are in the garage. And the, uh, the water heater, I can't remember what year it is, I think 2006. Uh, newer refrigerator. Um, all the windows are hurricane impact glass. Um, just it, the list goes on and on. The front porch is adorable. The sunlight during the day is just absolutely beautiful. You've got this huge bonus room in the back. On and on and on I could go. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions what, whatsoever, <laughs> please give me a call. Thank you so much. Again, Sarah LaRock, you can count on LaRock. Give me a call anytime, 727-831-7446. And Happy New Year. Bye-bye.